love you, you love me. Okay, now you're my bestie. Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Bab Riksha and today especially we're going to talk about notes. How the notes work, what the notes will do, what is not made of, can you transfer the notes or not. Notes, notes, notes and all about notes and ERC721 which is confusing few people and those few people are some of my very close community members. So let's start and dive into the video and see what this video is all about. Look, the answer right now is no, okay? But that doesn't mean that that answer can't change to a yes. So you can be transfer it to a test net? Yeah, you can transfer it even after a main net. Fabric was saying you could transfer it at any time. I don't believe that's the case, but then again, we'll probably get more info on that. Can you transfer full node to a new wallet? Yes, um, like I just mentioned before, um, for those that have actually got a full node, have sacrificed and have received their NFT full node in their wallet, you can then transfer it to a different wallet and then have that new wallet be the owner of that node and therefore deploying the software and getting all the rewards from it. So yes, the answer is yes. So once it's running, it's running and then that's it, okay? But up until that time, yeah, you can transfer amongst wallets. Technically, you could even sell that NFT node to someone else you know, over the counter. I'm definitely not supporting that at all, all right? But yes, you know, that's, that's an option. So the Brian statement is self-explanatory and ERC721 is a type of nft there are multiple type of nfts and 721 is our nft with which we are gonna define our nodes small nodes and full node so erc mean ethereum request for comment and 721 is actually the proposal identifier number that's it so that's why we use 721 there are another proposal to that which is erc double one double five but that's what we our nft is not so nft is a non-fungible token which you cannot trade with any fungible token like erc20 or bip20 or anything else you cannot trade that uh, non-fungible token with that but de definitely you can use this token and you can buy that nft so now i'll discuss the erc721 functionality how what is the functionality of the erc721 the two main important function you should remember and a third one we will discuss slightly later so the first one is actually the balance functions which is used in the uh, erc721 that determines that how many uh, how many numbers of uh, tokens or coins or assets are allotted to that NFT. In in a sense, uh, when we or you are gonna buy the NFT like a full note, if you're gonna buy a full note, you have to pay 2700 Seifu. That 2700 Seifu is determining that balance function, which means that NFC will be holding 2700 Seifu tokens. And there is another function attached to that NFT that will be the honor function. The owner function will have the token ID and your address, wallet address. From which wallet address you buy, it will go to that. And once you bought the full NFT or a light NFT or a full node or a small node, that node can be transferred from your wallet to another wallet at any time because that is ERC721 NFT. And there are multiple functions attached to that NFT, just like a safe transfer, approval, approvals, and, and approval for all, and get approved. And there are many other uh, functions which is attached to that NFT, uh, which can help user uh, and can also save user from sending uh, the NFT to the wrong uh, blockchain or to the wrong wallet which does not support the ERC721 NFT. So I do not know that all of these function will be present in the NFT or not because only the dev can tell you because he is developing but on the general rule of thumb these are attached to the every ERC721 NFT. So the question is how you can transfer your NFT from one wallet to another wallet. It's a simple thing. If you are buying from the Binance chain and you are buying through the Seifu and it is coming to your Seifu wallet 
which is simply means in other words you can transfer that nft to any binance wallet because the binance wallet is supporting the erc721 nft so that means you can transfer that nft to any different kind of a wallet which is present on the binance chain so that's why i said it that you can transfer it anytime even when you buy it you can transfer even after after a single second so that's not the point but i am not uh, giving you the suggestion that you have to do that but that is the option too maybe that is available or maybe that is not available but uh, technically nft can be transferred at any time at any place from anywhere like where the erc721 is being supported you can transfer that erc721 nft to that wallet or to that site so that's not the, that's not the problem but when when it is deployed you can't transfer it because it's functional it's running that's why then you have to stop it and undeploy it and then take your nft out and then you can transfer it to another wallet and then maybe you can deploy it again i don't know about it because i i do not know what the structure will be after 5 or 4 or after 5 or 4 months i have no idea but yes technically you can you can transfer your nft from one wallet to another wallet at any time so that's the point so another question is that how you can transfer your nft which i have feel that uh, greek was also upset about or confused about it well it's very simple the transferring of nft from one wallet to another wallet is exactly same like you transfer your coins from one wallet to another wallet it will not be very much difficult or different it has to be it has to be uh, same the way you can transfer your nft from one wallet to another wallet just like you transfer your coins from one wallet to another wallet the only difference is that that wallet should have a support of erc721 which means if you are transferring uh, if you if you are holding that full node or a small node in the binance uh, binance uh, chain wallet then you can transfer it to any binance chain wallet that will also support that um, that nft that full node that light node um, the, there should be no problem in it so let's see for the more information i'll seek the team so many people ask question about the nodes full node and small nodes you know when i was um, I was uh, invited by the Crypto Pride in, in in his live AMA. So I was talking about the nodes, and people were like wanted to ask many of the questions, but time was so short, so I couldn't answer all of them. So one of that viewer, I think, so he was watching that uh, uh, that AMA, and he asked that question in my comment. So Drew asked a question from me in my comments and he said that I am confused why having a full note would be more beneficial than a Seifu X rebasing. Could you give me an example of what we could be earning in 5 years by having a full note compared to holding Seifu X? that's what he is confused of so to understand that point i try to give you a simple example because i'm assuming that most of the people or many of the people in the community they do not know about the technology and all that geek stuff um, and I, that's why i wanted to give you a simple a very simple example so that you can understand well the simple example is this that uh, if you buy a home you can get a rent out of that or you can buy a bitcoin and you can keep holding to that and wait when the price appreciate they will that bitcoin will not earn anything to you the only thing you have to do is to keep that coin with you until the price exceed to your wanted level and then you can sell that bitcoin in the market and get the profit out of it but when you but but when you buy a home uh, you can get the rent every single month and the value of that home is increasing almost every single year by 20 percent do you get my point so after five years you will be having uh, double in the value and plus you will be getting rent of that house too 
so once you buy that full node or a, or a light node that node will be generating transaction fees for you which will be in a term you will be having a money in a term of the transaction fees which which then you can sell and you can use it in your regular life and that node will be also rebasing so you will be also achieving the rebasing point from those nodes and uh, it will be like cherry on top you know and by holding sefu x coin you will be only getting the rebasing and no transaction fees in short run right now the sefu x rebasing is 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 better in short run because the once you buy a node that will be blocked and it will not generate the transaction fees until the main net is live so for that few months you will not be generating the transaction fees but you will be generating the rebases with it so technically it's not a loss uh, it is a long term game if you want to play a long term game then node is the more beneficial or if you want to play a small term short term gains or you want to play a short term games then sefu x is much better for you if you are a short minded uh, player if you are long minded player then i think you should buy a full node or a light node that will be more beneficial for you in the future because you will be earning rebases on it and plus you will be earning transaction fees on it i hope uh, that will satisfy your mind and i hope that will be the answer so i still find that nodes is still a long debate topic so i'll try to arrange some live ama so for that you have to write a comment in the comment section so that i know that you guys are interested then i will arrange the live session for you guys and then we will talk about nodes and nodes only so thank you for watching my videos in the end i wanted to say like subscribe and share and if you want to ask anything you can write in the comments this is your host fabrik shah and i'm out bye bye Here's a nice negative comment. Big arch and money. Instead of talking about nodes that have no purpose, please explain what projects will build on the blockchain to bring value to the blockchain. You're an idiot, buddy. I just want to let you know that because your whole channel is about just discrediting Safer. I just want you to know that I think you're an idiot. Um, but besides that, if you, you literally just said, <laughs> don't talk about nodes that have no purpose. How the hell does a blockchain run without nodes? How does how does a blockchain achieve consensus without nodes?